Hey there, my name is Wilke de Krij. I'm the founder of Aviral. And in this video, I wanna give you a quick demonstration of Aviral so you know exactly what it can do for your business. Now, first of all, what is Aviral? It's a referral platform that will help you get more leads and sales through word of mouth into your business. Let me explain that. I'm guessing that right now, you are probably already collecting leads somewhere in your business, right? Normally, people would enter their details, like their name and email address, and that's about it, right? You have their details. But with Viral, you can automatically incentivize all those people to invite all of their friends into your business as well, amongst other things. That is in a nutshell what a Viral is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my screen, show you the platform and show you how it all works. So this is how it looks on the inside. And as you can see, there's multiple campaigns created. And I'm just gonna create a new campaign to demonstrate how you would actually set it up. In order to get people to take action, such as inviting their friends over or joining your Facebook group, for example, we can leverage incentives, right? So for example, we can add incentives like a coupon code or a downloadable file or any link to like a secured private file or anything else that we can use as an incentive where we can say like, hey, if you invite three of your friends, you will get this thing, for example, right? Or you can use a viral to run a sweepstake where people can actually win a prize. And you can do that by adding a grand prize that you can say like, hey, the person who has invited most people or based on luck, basically. And obviously, you can combine these things as well. You can either add multiple incentives and add a grand prize next to it, for example. Next, you can decide what actions you'd like people to take. Do you want them to invite their friends? Do you want them to share on Facebook? Or do any of our custom actions, such as, for example, subscribe to your YouTube channel, for example. Once you've added these things into your campaign, now it's time to create your pages. So you can run everything on a viral, so you don't need to have anything on your website, which means that on a viral, you create your own lead page or opt-in page, as well as a page where people can then start sharing and inviting their friends or you can simply embed everything into your existing website if you already have a website. So let's say for example, I wanna run everything on a viral and then I can just add a template. We have multiple templates right here that you can just select and you can just edit on the fly. And once you're done, hit save and then do the same thing for the social share page. That's the page that people will see after they have opted in, after they've entered their name and email address where you can get them to invite their friends over into your business. Like for example, this page, which again, you can completely modify and customize based on your branding and needs. Once people start talking about your business, you obviously want to be in control of what will be shown on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Pinterest, and all these other platforms, which is where social appearance comes in. So this is where you can enter a title that people will see. You can easily edit an image. You don't have to be fancy or creative because everything can be done from it in the platform. You can just select the template that you'd like, make some changes as, you'd as you see fit, and hit publish, and you're good to go. And then once people start inviting their friends over, this is what will be shown on Facebook and all the other social platforms where your branding already starts. And the great thing about Viral is that we do everything from A to Z, including email notifications. So as soon as someone enters their email address into your campaign, you can automatically send them an email, which is fully customizable using personalization tags. And all of these emails can be fully automated. For example, when someone joins your campaign or when they invited one of their friends to motivate them to keep on sharing with more friends or for example, when they unlocked one of your rewards so you can motivate them to unlock the next reward as well or if they win a prize, for example. All of that can easily be done from within a viral. But obviously you want to get those leads into your CRM or autoresponder as well, which is why we're integrating with over 50 different CRMs and autoresponders to make sure that every time someone joins your viral campaign, they'll be added to your email newsletter immediately. And that covers the fundamental of a viral, but that's only just the start because as I mentioned, we cover everything from A to Z. So you can go a lot more in depth. For example, you can add your own custom domain, add your tracking codes if you want to do retargeting from Facebook or Google or any other platform. We have an API if you want to create your own integrations as well. It's easy to geo-target and only allow people in certain geographical areas. Or we support tracking links so you can keep track which marketing efforts work best. And obviously we've got in-depth reporting as well. So you can see exactly what's working inside your campaign and what's not working. You can see all the leads that have joined your campaign and for each of them, we'll have specifics as well. So you can see exactly where they're from and what actions they've taken, who they've actually invited and much more. And if you wanna take it to the next level, you can easily run split test as well. All you need to do is create a second page and we will automatically start testing which one performs best so you get more leads into your business. 
Now, as you can see, there's a lot happening inside the dashboard, but there's a lot happening below the surface as well. For example, we got a really advanced fraud detection engine to make sure people are not able to actually fraud or trick the system to refer to themselves, for example, so you know you get quality leads into your business. So I hope this quick video gave you a little bit of an insight of what it looks on the inside. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help and we're looking forward to uh, help you get started using your viral campaign and help your business get more word of mouth as well. Talk to you soon. Hi everyone, it is Jody Siena from JodySiena.net and I'm shooting this quick video today for my dear friend Wilco the Cry and for his amazing software called AppViral because uh, maybe people are not using nowadays in their marketing, referral marketing but what I think about it is that is a must so if you are not doing this kind of marketing, this kind of strategies in your marketing in 2018 maybe you are losing a lot of money or maybe you are leaving a lot of money on the table because as you can see from my screen this is my latest campaign uh, using up viral and uh, what we generated what we achieved so it's it's pretty insane because the number you see on my screen were generated in just six days and uh, i know that that looks pretty insane and i know that maybe it could be strange for a lot of so-called marketers out there but this is what you what you what you can achieve when you use the right tool with the right strategy following the right guy and Wilco is the go-to guy in this case so if I open my campaign over here as you can see from my screen we generated something like 232,785 leads in just six days but what is really pretty insane about uh, AppVital and about using this software and uh, that I could never I could never think was possible uh, generating this kind of numbers, this kind of leads just from 8,364 visitors. So I know guys, but if every 8K visitors you send on your page and they multiply in, in this kind of leads, so how many, how many of visitors you, you will send on your pages? So, but this is nothing uh, because I want to show you also my stats and what we, what you can notice over here and that this kind of visit transform in, uh, in uh, really referred visitors so as you can see from here my direct visitors were 6k visitors that were transformed in uh, 350k thousand visitors just in one week because as you can see over here from my screen this campaign ran from april 29 to may 6 2018 so and social metrics are also pretty insane because uh, as you can see from over here we got more than 29,000 shares on Facebook and more than 29,000 shares on Twitter and uh, more than 8,000 uh, messenger send and LinkedIn share and messenger send as well so guys I really don't know how to thanks Wilco I really don't know how you are not using yet this kind of software and uh, I know that in blood speed improved a lot in, in, in its platform and uh, guys I really recommend I highly recommend to use this this tool because it's uh, it's the difference between success and failure and this campaign generated uh, in terms of numbers and in terms of money more than half, half million dollars in uh, in uh, in sales just with one week just using one simple strategy just following Wilco and just using such an amazing software called AppViral. Hope it can help. So thanks so much Wilco for this masterpiece and hope for what to hear from you soon. Be going live right now. So let me know in the chat if you can hear me. I think people are supposed to be logging on now. I just uh, enable the live button so we should be live everyone let me know if you can hear and if you can see me that would be great
I see already, uh, I'm, if I'm looking to that side, it means I'm looking at the chat. I see that already uh, the first couple of people are already logging on, quite a few actually, uh, and I'm excited. So uh, if you can if you can hear me, let me know uh, whether you can hear me, whether you can um, see me as well. So give me a yes. I already see quite a few people uh, saying yes, that's good. Ed, Dan, Salvador, Marine, Salvador, Craig, Ed, like there's, oh, there's actually a lot more. Uh, it's going fast now, Paul, Carr, like, Tony, I cannot actually keep up, but I'm excited that all of you are here, and um, I'm assuming people are still logging on, but I'm not going to wait for that because I like to dive right into the action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my screen. Let me just do that right now, and we're going to get started. I'm excited. All right, uh, screen share. Let me just... You should be seeing um, some falls right now. <laughs> All right, so we are going to talk today about how to collect 17,000 email subscribers from scratch in less than 30 days. And best of all, do it without spending a dime on advertising. So that's the goal, that's the goal today. So the goal for today is like, if you don't have an email list right now, by the end of this call, you're going to have all the resources and, all, and everything that you need to start an email list, to have an email list. I mean, if you don't have an email list, it means that you don't have an online business, right? If you're not make, and you're not making the kind of potential that you could be making. And I promise you that by the time, by the end of this webinar, you're going to have everything you need to either start your, uh, build your, build your email list, or if you already have an email list, I'm going to give you, I'm going to empower you to triple that list for you. So all of that, I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do this all. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm just gonna show you exactly what's working for me. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, uh, so you can then implement it into your own business as well. And because I think it's pretty awesome that you're all here with me live, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something, I think, cool. <laughs> so if you're gonna stay, if you're gonna stay till the end, I'm gonna give you. Uptin and Uptin is our upcoming uh, WordPress plugin, and it allows you to create all kinds of email opt-in forms onto your website. So, for example, pop-ups, fly-ins, below posts, inline, uh, like all kinds of opt-in forms into your website. It has a bunch of templates, over 100 templates. It includes split testing and all of that. Like it's it's an awesome plugin, and you're gonna get that for free if you stay till the end of this webinar. So if you stay here live, I'm gonna give you the exact download link, and you can start playing around with it right away so in return i'm sort of asking for a favor from your end as well and that is that uh, during this call i, I want to ask for your attention i mean what i'm going to share here today I, I really believe that if you implement this what i'm going to share today in your business or in your soon-to-be business is going to change your life it's going to change your business so all i'm asking in return is to talk, turn off your cell phone turn off facebook um you know just have your full uh full attention right here now awesome so Let's dive in. So why am I so obsessed with list building? I mean, this 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 training call is all about list building, right? Growing our email list. Now, uh, for that, I actually have to go a few years back, I, I, I guess. So I've been working online since 2002, which <laughs> in online terms is, is quite a long time. And during that time, I tried and tested pretty much every strategy out there, right? Like there's a bunch, like, I'm assuming that you guys, you 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 guys and girls actually, uh, you see a lot of strategies. You you hear about them now. During that time, since 2002, I tried pretty much all of them, I think. And at some point, I got pretty good at uh, specifically Google AdWords. Like this was back in the day, and I started to do really really well with that. At least rel relatively speaking, at that time, I thought I was doing really really well. So I was doing around fifty thousand dollars in month in revenue, of which roughly thirty thousand was like profit, right? So. And this was, I think, 2010 from the top of my head. Um, so I was a young guy and I, I felt like the king of the world. And then one day, <laughs> well, let's just say um, Google AdWords shut down my account. So I was back to zero, literally overnight. Now, and I, I don't want to bore you with my story of how I got here. But um, what, what, what I do want to tell you that is I, I've had, actually had it multiple times where my Traffic just stopped, and from one day I was just thinking like, oh yeah, it's going great, and I got an online business, and you know, I was feeling like, I don't know, I was feeling like the like I said, the king of the world, and then the next moment, um, I just had to start over from scratch again, and I realized that that's really because I was always just focusing on driving traffic, but I never really had an audience to rely on, right? So, and from that point onwards, I started focusing on building up an email list, and I remember. 
when I started building my email list uh, for the very first time, and after a few months, I had a couple thousand email addresses. I mean, not a major list. I think from the top of my head, it was roughly 2,000 email addresses. And I sent out an email, and this was without knowing how to sell, right? I didn't even, like, all I said was basically, it's like, hey, if you want to have this, you can get it, right? And we did over, I did over $10,000 in sales within the first 24 hours. And for me, I was, that was insane. For me, that literally changed my life because this was at a point that I was not making any money online. I was, I was like, my business literally stopped. This was right after uh, the Google AdWords uh, slap. And just being able to send out an email to some, you know, to subscribers, to email subscribers, and making that amount of, for me, that was insane. I, I've personally never seen an opportunity like that. Uh, but, 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 to be completely honest with you, <laughs> and I know, like, uh, especially all these online folks are always focusing on, hey, you make money and blah blah. blah. Um, but for me, I think the biggest, the biggest impact it had is that it was sort of like a relief right instead of having to always focus on finding new ways to drive traffic now i had just an audience to rely on and for me that's just you know it removed a lot of stress and for me i think that's even more important than making making money right just just knowing that you have your the audience to rely on knowing that you don't have to always go 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 and you know drive more traffic and do all of that so for me that was um i mean i don't know about you what, what's going to be more important for you but for me just being able to rely on that audience and rely on that email list that really changed my life so altogether a list a list based business that's what i like to call it a list based business an email list based business is i think the greatest lifestyle business you can build right i mean you can run it from anywhere in the world and you can basically make money on demand by just sending out an email you know and you every time you do something in the future if you're gonna create create a new product or if you're gonna uh, start a new project, then everything becomes incredibly easy because you have an audience to rely on, right? Does that make sense to you guys? Awesome. So altogether, what what it really comes down to, like if if you're if you're building an online business, you just need to have an email list, right? That's really the core of all of this. So um, real quick, who is who is this guy who's talking to you right now? Well, my name, uh, let me, I should probably have introduced myself first, but my name is Wilke de Cry. in case we haven't met before. I'm uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, like I said, I've been starting selling online since 2002, and I've been doing this uh, full time for over the last, just over 10 years now. And I, I currently own multiple multi-million dollar businesses. Not that I think that's really important, but what's important is that all my businesses, they mainly rely on email traffic. And the best thing is, like here on the right hand side, you actually see my wife, which uh, at that point was not um, was not yet my wife. It was actually a couple of days before I asked her to marry me, and she said yes, <laughs> which is awesome. So right now she's my wife, um, and that's actually in uh, Argentina when we were traveling the world. And over the last eight years or so, I've been traveling over uh, 33 countries, and that's not really important for this. But I, it's just I'm a big fan of traveling, and I wanted to at least add. Add something in about you know being personal or uh, about me basically because I'm just a travel junkie and I think really just having an email list based business uh, allows me to do that. Now, let's dive into the content because that's what we are all here for, right? So why did I create this trade? Now I've been doing list building since 2010, so that's right after uh, my ad, the average slap happened. And what I always did or like ever since that point is basically I I, I sent traffic. I have some some kind of traffic, and I send it into into an opt-in form. Right, this could be, for example, an, a sidebar or on a blog, or it could be um, a, a, a webinar sign-up page, or it could just be a lead page. And then people sign up, and then they go to the thank you page. Now, let me ask you a question: Who is doing it like this, or you know, thinks this is basically thinks this is the way they do it? How, who who thinks that you need to send traffic to some kind of an opt-in form where people can enter their email address, and then they go to a thank you page? Right, always. You, who, who does it like this or thinks this is the way to do it? I mean, I've been doing it since 2010 like that for, for quite, a, quite a bit of time, actually. Um, and it's good, but not great. Let, let's put it like that. Like, it works, but it works to a certain extent. So I actually discovered how to do this um, the smart way. And that's what I want to share with, with all of you today in this training call. So uh, since I actually... Uh, uh, figured it all out and like once again i'm going to share it share that with all of you since i figured it all out uh, i grew my list over the last 12 months more than the five years prior to that so over the last 12 months the last one year i grew my email list more 
than the five years prior to that. So you, I used to grow my business with around 20 to 30% per year, which I think is pretty good. Uh, but last year, I quadrupled my business. And that's pretty much a fancy way of saying I more than 4 x the revenue and profits of my business uh, because I've been able to grow my email list that fast. Now, all of this, I've been doing this uh, using a traffic strategy that cannot be shut down. I mean, like I just told you, uh, you know, I was for earlier on, I was focusing on Google AdWords. And um, I was go focusing on Google AdWords where, uh, where my, all my traffic went down. Well, what I'm doing right now, there's no one who could, even if they try to, take that traffic source away from me. And that's once again what I'm going to show uh, share with all of you. So I know how much it changed my life. And that's what I want for you. And that's really why I'm creating this training webinar. Now, obviously, I just have to say is, right, the results are not typical. I mean, I can only show you what's working for me. I can only show you uh, what, what other people are using as well to get results. But if you don't, like, it's not a, it's not like, oh, yeah, you just push a button and it's not it's going to work. Like, as with everything in your business, as with everything uh, with online marketing, you'll have to put in the work, you have to put in the effort in order to get results. I just wanted to make that clear. I mean, if you're looking for a get rich quick kind of scheme or whatever, um, then I'd suggest to just, you know, close this, close this webinar right now because that's not what you're going to get. Uh, this is just, this is for real business people, you know, who want to grow their business to the next level. This is not, uh, we're not joking around here or anything like that. So I just wanted to make that um, clear. So I'm, I'm going to share today three secrets with all of you and I call them looping the multiple the multiplier and zero incentive so secret number one uh, looping and this is something that every business should have these kind of loops in their business so this by adding these loops into your business this immediately increases the amount of leads that you're going to get into your business and all it takes is two simple lines of code I'm going to show you that and using these loops you'll be able to easily double the conversion rates on your opt-in forms while getting higher quality leads at the same time. So I'm going to show you that in the first secret. The second secret is what I call the multiplier. And this is something that will quite literally multiply your email list. So some, some of the so-called gurus that have been teaching things that seems great, but it's actually a very risky thing to do. So I'm going to show you exactly what that is and more importantly, how to fix it. And when you apply this, then you'll be able to multiply the amount of leads that you'll be getting at an instant. And yes, I can, and I will prove that to you. And the third one is what I call the zero incentive. So this one is might, might be even my favorite, actually, because this is the fastest way that I've ever seen to for anyone to build an email list in a niche without having uh, to spend a dime on advertising or without have, need, needing to have a website to begin with, right? So if I would start building a list in the next 10 minutes, within a certain niche, I mean, doctorating, health niche, the B2B niche, like uh, golf, personal development, whatever it is, I could get started right away using this, uh, using what I'm gonna share in that secret. So you don't even need, to, you, need, you don't even need to create a lead magnet or existing traffic to get started with this. So let's get started. Looping, the first secret. So this is, like I just told you, this is how I used to do it, right? I used to send traffic to an opt-in form uh, and I've tried all kinds of things, right? Uh, uh, on a blog in your sidebar, but also like uh, webinar sign-up pages or um, full page lead pages, for example. But what happens if the traffic stops? I mean, I ha I've, I've experienced that multiple times. And as soon as the traffic stops, you, you, will not, you won't get any leads anymore, right? That's, I mean, that's obvious. And it's not really a matter of whether it will stop but it's more like a, a matter of when it will stop right i mean seo algorithm changes accounts uh, facebook ads accounts get sh shut down or maybe just the ad costs are too expensive to keep your ads running but one way or another at some point you're gonna you're gonna have to invest in finding new traffic sources because your existing traffic sources are just not gonna work anymore but even like even if your traffic would magically never stop then even the best case scenario would be that your sidebar on average would convert at one percent you're a welcome mat if you have a welcome mat converts on average at two percent and a landing page on average uh, between 20 and 25 percent now of course you can push that right you can push that to let's say 40 maybe even 50 percent if you're like a genius 40 percent would already be stretching it but um, that would if you if you get it at 40 or 50 percent then you have a really, really good landing page uh, um, but let's just say you have a landing page and it converts at 25%, right? You, where people can just enter their email address and you're going to start sending traffic to that, right? So you send traffic to an opt-in page. And when you send one of the visitors in there, then it's going to result in 25 email subscribers. Now that's uh, not, not really rocket science. Uh, but what if I could tell you that like 
let, let me ask you a question first, actually. Who wants to double their opt-in conversion rates today? Like, give me a yes if you want to double your opt-in conversion rates. If you want to, uh, if you want me to show you a trick on how you can actually double the amount of leads that you're going to get from the same amount of visitors, right? Give me a yes. Cool. Awesome. So. In order to explain that, I actually have to go a few years back because uh, when I first started doing this whole list building thing, I actually did an experiment. Um, I, so I made a, a, a tiny tweak to the, the system that I just showed you. So if we go back to uh, what you're seeing here, I made a tiny tweak and what I did is this. So what I did, people, I sent traffic to an opt-in form, uh, people signed up and then on the thank you page, I said, hey, you know, here's the, here's the thing that you wanted. But you know what? Do you if you if if you're gonna if you're gonna share this with your friends, you're also gonna download you can you can also download this ebook that I have for you. So what I did was I sort of bribed them. I said, hey, you want to get this ebook? Share this with your friends, and then they will actually you know. Sorry, then once you've shared it on Facebook, then um, then you're gonna get this uh, download. Then this download link will automatically appear, right? And if they share that, their friends they will they're gonna get a, they're gonna get to see a link back to the opt-in form so these people their friends are going back into the opt-in form obviously so what do you think happened like do you think this gave me a massive amount of leads of new subscribers right away like do you think that would like this was like the magic bullet i see quite a few people are saying yes actually well actually no <laughs> i was hoping for it uh, but the results were okay i got i got over 100 shares within the first week which was pretty awesome right i never really experienced uh that that many people actually sharing a page of mine because like i said i had no audience to begin with so getting 100 people to actually share it was pretty awesome but still it was not really the kind of results i was hoping for but it was enough to get my attention right i got extra subscribers but it was not like like i was not like i was it was not not a home run let's put it like that and, and i saw actually various flaws in this in this system i mean people they wanted to have that ebook that i offered but they uh, i saw people they were just you know deleting their message so they shared it with their friends on facebook and then right after they deleted it because all they wanted to have is that ebook and th they didn't really want to you know share that message with their friends or they just shared it on a fake account or um and, and even if they would not like even if they would genuinely share it, they would only share it once and within no time the message will be gone from their facebook timeline from their friends and like there's not gonna it's not it was not gonna give me that much extra traffic right and that's when i thought of a company who who already had figured this out i mean i was trying this out i was doing an experiment and then i thought hey there's this company that i'm pretty sure all of you know actually uh and they figured this out exactly it's not let me know which company do you think this is and also let me know how did you ever hear of them like how, how where, where where did you get it from did you find them on google or where did you find them from let me know in the chat exactly dropbox and i see already some people uh telling me in the chat like they got it from a friend exactly because dropbox did something really really clever actually uh because they were they were sort of struggling to grow their business um it sounds crazy, but it's it's actually true. I, I did, a lot, did a lot of research on them. They were not able to really grow their business. And then they did something really, really clever, right? So they gave every one of the users their own unique invite link. So every single user got their own unique link and they automatically, automatically kept track if someone would actually sign up to that link, right? And then they said to all of them, all of the users, hey, share this link with your friends. And every single time one of your friends signs up, you're going to get extra storage so you're going to get extra benefits inside your dropbox account so what they did was they were, they were bribing their audience they said hey if if your friends actually sign up then you're going to get this extra value from us which in this case was extra storage inside a dropbox account and because like the, they didn't ask for a share they didn't say hey if you share this you're going to get access no no they actually needed their friends to sign up and that made all the difference right so this way they gave a sense of accountability because now every single one every single one of their the, the dropbox users had the exact same goal as the business had to get more more people to actually sign up to actually enter in their name and email address right and because of that people started to do crazy things they started sharing their links not just on facebook but all over like on various social media networks obviously but also on blogs and also by email sending it to their colleagues uh, posting it anywhere where they could think of because they wanted to get as many people to sign up through their unique invite link 
right? And they also started sharing it multiple times. It's, I mean, they didn't just share it once on Facebook and then thought, well, sure. No, what people actually started doing is, you know, a couple of days later, they started sharing it again to make sure that all of their friends would actually see it and they would get more and more and more of those benefits, right? So, and altogether also people started convincing it, uh, convincing their friends in their own voice. So for example, I'm from the Netherlands. I, I remember like I didn't get a standard message from, you know, people didn't just share a standard message from Dropbox. Now people actually wrote it in Dutch, in my own language, to try to convince me to sign up through their link, right? People were actually promoting Dropbox all because they had their own unique invite link that, you know, with a bit of bribe attached to it. So if people would sign up through their link, then they would get extra extra benefits. They would get something of value, right? So that, that's really, I love it. I mean, oh, sorry, I actually had this slide. I should have had this, this slide. My, my, my apologies for that. I was just talking about this slide. My apologies for that. Um, so, but you know what, Dropbox, like uh, this could, like at first I thought, well, maybe Dropbox got sort of like lucky, right? Maybe it wasn't, it was just Dropbox who did it. And then I started doing some more research and I actually noticed that quite a few companies use this exact same method, right? So for example, Harry's, it's, uh, it's a shaving brand, a shaving company. When they started, they did the exact same thing. So first of all, you had to enter your email address because obviously they wanted to build a list. Everyone wants to build their email list. And then right after, every single subscriber got their own unique invite link. And what that, and if you got enough of your friends to actually sign up, you're gonna get extra benefits. Now, Tim Ferriss actually wrote about this exact case study, uh, how they actually gathered, oh, gathered over 100,000 email addresses in one week. I mean, if you if you Google for that, you'll find the article actually, do that, do that later on. But um, it, it's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good case study. But I mean, can you imagine they, they, they set this system up and because they have their own, everyone, they're giving out these unique invite links, people start promoting their business for them, creating an army of people desperate to promote their business. And they get it over 100,000 email addresses in a single week. I mean, to me, that, that's nuts, right? That's insane. So altogether, this is all because of a loop, right? all because of a loop. So instead of having the form that we had before, where we just sent traffic to an opt-in form and then send them to a thank you page, I mean, that's that's the old way of doing it. Well, instead, what you, you're not just gonna say, hey, right, thank you for signing up. Go, please go check your inbox. No, that's insane. I mean, if they enter their email address into your opt-in form, they are engaged and that is actually the best time to get them to share something, right? So if you then give them something, you know, as sort of like a bribe, say, hey, you want to get this, for example, an ebook or a discount coupon, or something else that they, that they might want to have, and you say, "Hey, but you know what? If you 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 are only going to get this if, for example, three of your friends actually sign up, and you give them their own unique invite link." And now, from those 25 people who opted in, so you sent in 100 people uh, into your opt-in page, 25% actually signs up. Now, let's say five people then start thinks, hey, I want to have this, and five people start sharing, and they get five of their friends to sign up, right? That means that those original 100 visitors actually result in 50 subscribers, right? Instead of just those 25, because those 25 people, they're going to be they're going to be the ones that are going to promote your business, and obviously, those new people who signed up, they're going to see that exact same message, and that's why it's, I call it a loop because it's going into a loop. It's got, you know, people sign up, they, they start sharing, and then these new people sign up and they start sharing, et cetera, et cetera. Now, actually, like I've actually been doing more research and I noticed that all the major companies are doing this. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, you recognize these companies. I mean, Uber, for example, Airbnb, uh, Evernote, they're all doing it. Now, <laughs> why do you think they do that? Like, why do, you, why do you think that all these major companies are using this exact, system do you think they do it because they saw Dropbox do it and they thought well it might be cool <laughs> or do you think they do it because it actually works insanely well um I, I think you can answer that for yourself right so this, this works insanely well and uh, the, the best thing is that it's not just that you're going to get extra leads right there's not just that you get, they're going to get extra people to sign up but best of all is that if you know if if let's say i start i sign up somewhere and i get my own unique invite link and i, I send that to my to my friends 
well, you, you know, you know what the quality of the leads are going to be. It's going to be way better because when something is recommended by a friend, we're significantly more likely to actually buy or to actually trust them instead of spending hours on research on better to shopping. We just go with a friend's recommendation, right? I mean, when someone is referred, by, when something is referred by a friend, it's it's warm traffic and it's way easier to convert. And altogether, I've actually looked it up. 92% of consumers trust recommendations from friends above all other forms of advertising. So instead of people, you know, instead of you having to advertise on Facebook or somewhere else, uh, now you're going to get an army of people and who are promoting your site for them and they're promoting it to their friends. So everyone is going to get a message from their friend saying, hey, you should check this out. And they're going to be way more inclined to, to trust you before they've even visited your website, which is Awesome, and that for that reason, the, the quality of the leads is way higher as well. So when when I when I when I first realized all of this, I thought like, wow, this these growth loops. I, I like to call them growth loops, firewall loops, however you want to call them, uh, but they rock, right? I mean, um, like this is <laughs> like, all right, I'm, I might be uh, you might be thinking I'm a bit of a nerd, but uh, this really excites me. I, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, doing doing marketing basically smarter than everybody else right I, I love this kind of stuff so when i when i first realized this you know when i first saw this potential i was more than convinced that these you know these in this invite link based referral campaigns they rock so i went looking online to you know how how do how do how do i set this up because i wanted to do this as well and i realized that the only way to create this was to spend tens of thousands of dollars to actually get this created myself right it, it was not something that exists i mean dropbox has it but they build it themselves and evernote and all these other big companies so i started thinking like wow that's that's weird right so i actually did exactly that i started building that so uh, i built a team and we started to work and we actually created an online platform uh, which we call a viral that creates and manages all of these viral referral campaigns from a to z right so best of all it does it in a way that that, that every non-techy person can set this up within minutes so after we started building the system, I actually took it to the test. So in, back in 2012, I set up a simple, uh, simple two-page website. So it was just two pages, not nothing fancy or anything like that. One opt-in page, people signed up, and then on the thank you page, I had this exact same thing, right? I had just a unique invite link uh, where people could actually get a bribe in order to, you know, if, if they would have to share with their friends, and if five of their friends would sign up, then they would actually get their download, right? I did not did anything else. Uh, after you know, I set it up on day one. I did not promote it. I did not spend Facebook, uh, run Facebook ads to it or anything like that. And I set this up in 2012. Like, that's a long time ago, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they, yeah, especially in online terms, it's it's a long time ago. And I think uh, you'll agree with me that if I set up, a, for example, a Facebook campaign in 2012, it's going to dry out. If I do SEO in 2012, it's going to dry out. Like every kind of thing you can do in 2012, it's going to dry out. Now, what do you think happened? After that time, these are the statistics from Google for Google Analytics, and as you can see, the traffic never stopped. And best of all, I got over 661 different referrals. And uh, for those of you who are not as familiar with Google Analytics, uh, it it actually counts every site as one referral. So Facebook is one, Twitter is one. Um, actually, Facebook might be three because you have like the mobile Twitter. It's different from uh, the mo mobile Facebook is different from the web-based uh, Facebook, but. Uh, just a few, basically. So 661 different websites where I got traffic from. And the, why Why do you think it is? Well, because they started promoting this website everywhere they could. I mean, on forums, on blogs, on like everywhere they could. And it never stopped. Like, because like every single time people signed up, they saw it, they started sharing it, and then new people saw it, you know, because they their friends referred them to it, and they signed up. And that cycle, that cycle just kept on going and going and going. So... If you if you look on Twitter, for example, you'll see people sharing this exact site continuously every single year. Right now, it's slowed down a bit. It's not as active as it was in the past, but it's still being shared. So this is this site is actually called WP Pinner. It was a, a WordPress plugin that I was working on. We collected over twenty five thousand subscribers. I mean, not a not a major lot, but still twenty five thousand subscribers. All because people started sharing it and they kept sharing you know new people came in they shared new people came in they shared etc cetera, etc cetera. so all of because this exact loop right so this is something that you should implement in any opt-in form that you currently have i mean i just showed it on an, on on a full lead page but every opt-in page every every opt-in form that you have i mean doesn't matter if it's for example a webinar sign up page or if it is 
uh, a sidebar in your blog or if you have anything anywhere else in your business where people can enter their email address if you're not adding such a viral loop in right after that opt-in form you're missing out on a bunch of traffic so what you need to do is you need to give them something of value so like for example a coupon code or anything like that where you're sort of like bribing them and saying hey if you want to get this all you need to do is get three or for example five of your friends to sign up as well and then you're going to get access to that right i mean wouldn't it be great if, if you'd be building up your email list while at the same time building up an army of people desperate to promote your site and get even more people to enter and sign up to your email list wouldn't that be great hit me a yes and all I'm, I'm always just giving one someone's asking hey how many free gifts do you end up giving away for each person just one that's the thing i could even do less than that. i'll get to that later on because you don't even have to give everyone a gift i'll get, I'll get to I'll get to that in uh, later on in this presentation uh so you don't need to like this you don't have you, if you don't want to create something to give away you don't even have to I'm, i'll show you that later on so this is what like i said this is what so this is something that you need to add into your business right now Next, I want to talk about the multiplier, right? This is actually my second secret that I think is going to big, make a big impact into your business. And uh, before that, I actually want to ask you a question. I, I, I'm actually serious about this one. Do you, like right now, do you know what the perfect opt-in page looks like? I mean, do you know what the perfect headline is that you could write? Do you know what the perfect call to action button is that you could come up with? Like what's the best perfect opt-in page that you could create like it like and with perfect i mean the highest converting one obviously All right do you know that mm. exactly it's good i got smart audience actually because most people actually say no the smart people actually say no to this question that's good i like it and the reason why you, if you're smart you're saying no is because like i mean if you're gonna guess what works that's dangerous, right? I've seen, I've seen actually the so-called gurus. They say, "Hey, you need to copy funnels. You know, you need to see what others are doing." But what makes you think that the person whose funnel you're actually copying doesn't have mistakes in it? I mean, what makes you think that that's actually the, the perfect funnel, or the perfect opt-in page? I mean, copying pages, copying funnels is good, but it ain't great, right? You you might be copying mistake after mistake after mistake. So. What if I could show you a legitimate way that's going to take you less than a minute to set up and statistically prove it's going to multiply your email list size and your business along with it for years to come? Is, the, is that one minute or like whatever? Let's say it's 10 minutes, right? Let's say it's 10 minutes. Is that 10 minutes um, of your time a good investment if that would multiply your email list? I, I mean, I think it is, right? But the problem is, the problem is we sort of became lazy. And uh, yes, that includes me sometimes as well. Um, but it's actually costing you a lot more than you think. So what am I talking about? I'm actually talking about this real scary thing called split testing. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it sounds like a lot of hard work, um, but it's actually not, right? It, especially if you're, if you're using a viral, it's incredibly easy to set up. Uh, but, but before I'll show you how to do it, I wanna dive into some numbers first because um, I think it's I think it's gonna blow your mind actually. So in the old situation where we send traffic to an opt-in page, right? Um, it's it, like if you would split test that, you would you would create two different opt-in pages or two different uh, lead uh, lead pages, for example. Each with your own headline or each with your own call to action, for example. And then you want to split test, which means that you know every uh, at random a visitor is either going to see version number A or version B. And then this, the tool or the system that you're using, they're gonna keep track to see which one converts best. And after a while, you know exactly, all right, this one is the best one. So you know that one's actually converting better than the other one. Sure thing. Now, let's say you, you're testing two things out and one turns out to, to convert at 25%, the other one at 35%. So that means if you send them 100 visitors to option A, you get 25 subscribers and to option B, you get 35 subscribers. <laughs> Once again, not really rocket science. And so this means that you're gonna, you're gonna get 10 extra subscribers from every 100 visitors, which is actually a 40% improvement. Now, that's good, right? 40% improvement is good, it's good. Now, in the new situation, right? Let me just go back. So, in yeah, well, in the new situation, <clears throat> what, what you will have is you will have an opt-in page 
and you will have the thank you page where you get people to actually share, right? Now, what you can actually do is instead of just testing out which opt-in page gets most people to sign up, which is obviously a difference, right? Like you have different headlines, for example. So option A, opt-in uh, page A might be different than opt-in pa uh, opt uh, opt page B. But you know what? Like what, what you're going to put in your thank you page is going to influence on how likely people are going to Going to be the share. I mean, it's not like you're going to send people to your th to your thank you page, and every single one, every single person is going to be willing to share your message. That's not the case, right? It's always a percentage of people who are going to be willing to share your message. Some will not be interested, and that's fine. That's totally fine. But how do you know which page or which language will actually get? your audience to share your message for you. I mean, you could just guess, right? You could just guess, well, I think this is gonna be the best one, but that's not what we want. So what we wanna do is you wanna create, for example, two different opt-in pages so you can test and measure which one converts best and also set up two different thank you pages with the different language. So you're gonna describe your bribe differently and you're gonna measure which one gets people to actually share your message with their friends. That's pretty awesome, right? So in this new situation, let's say, just hypothetical, you create two opt-in pages, one converts to 25%, the other one at 35%, and then the thank you page, the first one is gonna is get gets actually 10% of the people to actually sign up, so once they've, sorry, to share, so once they've signed up to your opt-in form, then 10% of those people are gonna think, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually share this with my friends. The other one though is actually written better or you know it, it convinces the, the bribe better or whatever reason it is but you get you get 20% uh, of the people to actually share the with all their friends once again just some examples right now let's say you would just you know for option a opt opt-in version a and thank you a uh, if, if you would just go for that you would not split test you would just go for that and you know you think sure and it's gonna be fine oh, then I don't need this uh, what's going to happen is this. So, oops. Uh, after the first cycle, and I actually call it cycles because once again, it's going into a loop. People are sharing it, and then their friends are going to sign up, and then those people are going to, you know, that's the second cycle. They're, then they are going to sign up, and then they're going to share it, and then their friends are going to sign up. That's the third cycle. So, the first cycle, one you send 100 people to this opt in form, and 25% signs up. So, that means 25 leads, and that means that like roughly two and a half shares. I'll just put two and a half because on a larger scale, obviously you cannot have a, have a share, but um, just stick with me. It's just for a demonstration right here. So that would mean from those 100 people, you're gonna get 25 leads and you're also gonna get 50 new visitors. Let's say that every share is worth 20 visitors, right? If someone shares it, let's say 20 people click on the message on average. Just hypothetical um, uh, for, uh, for the sake of this uh, demonstration. Now, the second cycle, those 50 people that were just referred, 13 people are going to sign up, right? 25%, which means 1.3 shares, which means 26 visitors. And then the next cycle, I'm just going to continue, you know, seven new leads. It's going to, and then they're going to, you're going to get 40 new visitors and then three new leads. So altogether, it means that you are going to get from those 100 visitors that you send in, you're going to get 47 leads, 25 leads directly. And then you're going to get roughly 47, 48 leads, depending on how you round up all together right and that's good that's once again good but not great now um that this would happen if you would just start guessing now let's say you split test and then you find out that option b actually converts way better for both the opt-in page and also the, the thank you page could also have been b opt-in page b and thank you a but in this case let's say uh, both the bottom one actually wins on both ends so now You've split as it is, and you send in 100 people, and 35% actually signs up, right? It's 35 leads. And then let's say 20% of those people will actually share. That's seven shares, which means 140 visitors that you're going to get back. Cycle number two, those 140 visitors are going to result in 49 leads, right? Cycle number three, those, sorry, from cycle number two, you have, from those 49 leads, you're going to get 10 shares, which means 200 visitors, right? Oh, on, in a simplified, simplified format. In cycle number three, those 200 people are gonna result in 70 leads, right? And then cycle number four, 98 leads. So what you see right here is the numbers of leads every cycle that you're gonna get is actually going up. Well, in the last example, let me just go back, it actually went down. And this is actually a huge, huge, huge difference. So those 100 visitors actually so far after those four cycles resulted in 252 leads and counting. Now, obviously this is a simplified format, right? But 
well, what's important here is that, well, I, actually, I wanted to calculate what the actual improvement was, the percentage improvement, uh, but that's actually uh, not possible. So that's an infinite improvement. But what's interesting is that when every person refers on average more than one new person, something magical happens. So as soon as, like, if one person signs up, and on average, they're going to result in more than one new visitor, something magical happens. And this has everything to do with the viral coefficient. <laughs> don't worry. You don't need to get this. You don't need to understand this. Like, uh, if, if, you have, if you've heard of this, that's awesome. But if not, no need to worry about, about this. You don't need to know this. That's why I'm, why I'm here. But what it basically means is, like I just said, if every person on average refers less than one person, it will not go viral. However, as soon as every person on average refers to more than one new person, it will go viral. So right here, you actually see a simplified graph with this viral coefficient. And as you can see, the green one is the one where every one person will actually result in on average 1.2 new people. And the amount, of, the amount of traction, the amount of traffic you're gonna get will explode exponentially, exponentially. But if it's just one or below one, you're not going to get that same kind of results. So, with those with those split tests that I just described, it's not just about it's not not anymore just a matter of how you're going to get forty percent extra traffic. No, it's going to be it's going to be the difference between getting some extra traffic. Or sorry, it's not going to be the difference between you know uh, some extra leads, but it's going to be the difference between some extra leads and just an ongoing stream of leads into your business and that's why split testing is so incredibly important with this and it's not rocket science it's actually super easy um to set up i actually want to show you that um how easy it is let me just let me just open up my browser i think you're gonna like that i mean i can give you all the theory but it, i think it's more fun to just um, show you it right let me just log in all right, so um, right now I'm logged into uh, to a viral, which is once again our uh, platform to manage all of these viral referral-based systems, referral-based campaigns. So let me just create a new campaign, actually, just to uh, show you how it works. So I'm going to call this test to webinar training. Um, so you can choose between either a giveaway or a contest, or a contest means that people can actually win something. So you can say, hey, you know, every, for every single friend who signs up, you're gonna get uh, 20 extra entries in our contest. And with a giveaway, you can say, for example, hey, uh, if you're gonna get three of your friends or five of your friends to sign up, then you are gonna get X, you're gonna get access to X, Y, or Z. So let me just do that for now. And then you can choose to run everything on a viral using our opt-in page, anything like that. Or you could integrate it in any of your existing tools on website. It doesn't matter whether you have WordPress, ClickFunnels, lead pages, Insta page, or whatever tool you're using, you can just integrate it into that. So for now, I'm just going to use it, create it using a viral. And uh, so once I've I've set up this first couple of steps, I'm going to show you how easy it is. So first of all, you would just create. Let me just create a real simple one, right? So just let's say I would create a simple opt-in page, and I would just you know win free t-shirt or whatever like i I'm just as an example right um but obviously I, I'm, I'm just gonna you know save it go back now this is what you would normally do right you would create an opt-in page now how how difficult do you think it's going to be to do to run a split test now let me show you i just showed you how to set up first opt-in page if i want to do a split test if, if i want to measure which one works i'm simply going to create a new page I'm just gonna say, well, maybe this one. And maybe I wanna use a different layout or I wanna use um, a different copy. A win, oops, win this awesome T-shirt. And as you can see, everything is just, you can just click here and you can make all the changes. You can add videos, images, and all of that. I'm gonna save it. Or actually, maybe I wanna have a different background or I wanna upload my own. But for now, I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna go back. And right now, that's that the split test is already set up. So not right now, I've created two opt-in pages for this campaign, and automatically the split test is enabled. So if I would now go to the split test section, I could exactly see how what the conversion rate of each is. And I can just simply pick a winner. Now, similarly, let me just set up. Oops. Um, let me go to the thank you page. So once you've created the opt-in page, then you want to then then you want to create the share page, right? So let me just create a test page. Uh, maybe this one. 
and this is where you're going to say, um, well, uh, get, for example, get your friends to sign up uh, and get access to XYZ, for example, right? I'm just going to press save, go back. So that's, so now I've just created one page. Obviously, if I want to split test that, I can just go for, I don't know, this one. So this is going to be the share page, and this is where you can get people to actually convince the subscribe, right? So you can say, well, you have uh, X amount of friend, X amount of points right now. So it actually shows how many points they currently have, and you can just, you know, use different wording or, or anything like that. And what you're going to do is you could try to convince them to actually start sharing their message, right? And then they have their own unique invite link, and they can share it on Facebook, Twitter, etc., right away. And once again, let me just go back. I just created two of those pages. And if I now go to split test inside of that dashboard, I can simply see how many people actually share this on Facebook and on Twitter, et cetera. So I can see exactly after a while, well, this one actually gets more people to sign up. Um, so I'm going to pick this as the winner. So as you can see, this is not like the, the reason why I want to show this to you is because I know, I know that a lot of people think of split testing as a really difficult thing. Um, but as you can see, um, this literally took me, I don't know, a minute or two. So that's. Um, that's really what, what I wanted to show you. I mean, it's super easy to set up. Um, let me just go back to my presentation because I don't want to keep you waiting all too long. But I just wanted to make clear that it's super easy to set up one of those one of those split tests. Split test. I mean, when you, when you do, it's going to make all the difference in your uh, in the amount of leads that you're going to get from this system. So actually, I did a I did a case study which is called Tweet Lead. And what I did was I had a um, I, I simple I had a simple opt-in form, and I said, "Hey, you know, so sign up here." And then on the thank you page, I actually uh, said, "Hey, you need to get five of your friends to sign up, and if you do, you'll get ex access to uh, to that tool that I created, right?" And on the thank you page, I didn't just create one page; I actually created two different titles. On one, I said, "Hey, do you want free lifetime access to Tweetly?" And the other one, I said, hey, want to skip waiting and get instant free access? Now, I'm really curious, though, like, which one do you think was the winner? Which one, which one of those headlines got people to share Tweetly? I'm really curious. Give me a one or a two in the chat. I'd love to see your, uh, your answer to that. So I see, so far, I see ones and twos from both ends. So people are sort of like um guessing i guess like some people think one some people think two and exactly right i mean if we're if we're just gonna guess then i i mean beforehand i wouldn't have known which one worked as well and like, that's why you need to do these kind of tests and like i just showed you it's super easy now the, the answer is the bottom one the second one it got more than double the amount of shares more than double just i was giving the I, it was the exact same campaign i just i just described it differently and i got more than double the amount of shares and the reason why i think that's the case is because because it's more of a social thing right i mean free lifetime access that's more like uh, commercial or if you if you want to call it like that while you know want to skip waiting and get instant free access that sounds more soft i'd say if, if you mean if, if you know what i mean but it doesn't matter what i think the statistics show that more than double, actually 105% improvement just by changing the headline. Now, actually, just before, uh, just right, like literally 10 minutes before, 10 minutes before uh, we, short, we started this, uh, this training, I actually added in the next couple of slides um, because I wanted to uh, add in a little, uh, a cool trick that I did on this campaign as well. So uh, let me know, give me a yes. If you want to know how I got these people to share the message 2.6 times on average, it was actually a cool trick that I did um, it was the first, I, I, ever since I, I figured this out in this campaign, I've been using this on every campaign I did ever since. And like I said, by doing this, it made sure that every single person on average, if they shared, shared 2.6 times on average. I mean, that's pretty awesome, right? All right, it's cool. So already getting some yeses. Um, someone says, you ask for it? Well, yes, actually, we do ask for it, but not just on the thank you page, because when, when they sign up and they, you know, they enter their email address and then they're going to get their, the bribe and we're going to give them their own unique invite link and we're going to say, hey, you know, if five of your friends sign up, you'll get access to X, Y, or Z, and that's good, right? But what happens is they're going to share, but it doesn't mean that right away they're going to get five of their friends to sign up. But like you, you, you cannot expect them to, the next day, to still remember you. Maybe some will and maybe some will think, hey, it's, I, st I only have three people, but now I, you know, I want to have that bribe. But some people are just going to forget, and that's what uh, why I started sending out email follow-ups, right? 
So by doing this, I, I got people to share 2.6 times each. So what we do with a viral, you can automatically send out a welcome email, obviously, if they, if they sign up. And in that email, they're gonna get a reminder of what you can share. And in that email, you can have a one click share button. So they just have to click and it's shared, it shares on Facebook, on Twitter, et cetera. And it's gonna be their own unique invite link. Now also, if one of their friends signs up, we also send out an automatic email. So you can send out an email, for example, saying, hey, congratulations, a friend of yours just signed up. You, you only need four more, and then you will get X to X, Y, or Z, right? And then the next friend signs up, wow, awesome. You now have two people signed up, only three more, right? And this way, they're gonna be they're gonna be inclined to keep on sharing because they're gonna get that reminder every single time one of their friends signs up. So by sending these kind of email reminders, people are sharing it more and more because they still have not unlocked their reward, but they really wanna have, wanna have their reward, right? So that's really awesome. So in this specific campaign, I actually did run uh, some Facebook ads to it. In the beginning, I sent 416 visitors, exactly 416 visitors into this page in order to sort of kickstart it. And altogether, it resulted in 17, over 17,000 leads within the first month. 17,000 subscribers. And this is an internet marketing product, right? So this is like what's called the IM market, which is a, uh, not a, a competitive market. It's expensive to advertise in this. So that's why I only send out, send out 416 visitors because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. But after that, after those people signed up, they started sharing and then new people signed up and they started sharing all together, got over 17,000 email subscribers, all from those 416 visitors, right? And that's really what, all, all because I, I, in, I, I split tested the opt-in page and the thank you page. And once I actually got over that point, once I got over that point where one, one person actually results in more than one person on average, the outcome will multiply and will keep on going and going. And then I also added in those automated email follow-ups to get people to share it even more, not just once, but on average for this campaign, 2.6 times each, which is, I think, uh, pretty awesome. And that's really why it just kept on going and going and going. And um, there's a good chance you even saw this campaign. I mean, there's <laughs> it's, it's had tremendous uh, outreach. Like a lot of people uh, came to the front, a lot of people start sharing it. So it's a good chance one of your friends or even yourself uh, have actually signed up and shared it on uh, on Facebook, which is, which is uh, I think, um, pretty awesome. Um, but I also know, like, like, like what I've showed you so far, right? So, so far, I've talked about the the growth loops, the viral loops by having by doing these kind of invite link systems, where you're gonna give, uh, where you're gonna bribe your audience. Basically, bribe so sounds a bit negative, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. Where you're gonna bribe your audience by saying, hey, if you can get access to X, Y, or Z, if you share this with your friends. And if you then start split testing that, and you also send out send out email follow ups, which a viral all handles for you, right? You don't you don't have to do that actual actually you don't have to actually do this do that yourself if you're using a viral. Um, but using this, you have you pretty much have all the lack or all the groundwork to set up these kind of campaigns for yourself, right? Now I also know I get a question a lot saying, hey, what if I don't have an incentive? Or like, what if I don't have anything to give away? This brings me to my to my third secret, the zero incentive. Like this part is optional. Um, you can, if, if you do have an incentive or if you do have a website, you can do that as well. But this is actually, uh, this is really useful for those who don't have an incentive or who don't have their own website or who don't have existing traffic because you can leverage this in a really, really effective way without needing any of those. I mean, those free incentive, they, 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 they're free incentives because you, you're giving them away, but, but they're not free for you. I mean, you have to actually create them. You have to spend time, you have to spend money to actually create these kind of incentives. So what what if you could just you know do it do all of this without needing that kind of incentive, right? And so you don't need to spend, I don't know, a couple of months or weeks waiting for an ebook to be written, for example. Um, but you can just get started right away. Well, there's actually a good um, a good way to do that. And I've actually already showed you that before. So we got like the giveaways where you're gonna say, hey. If you if you get five of your friends to sign up, you will get X, Y, or Z, or you have contests. And contests are really work really, really well. And the best thing is like you can just go like all you need to do is basically pick a price that interests your target's audience, right? You can just pick something. And if you have your own product, for example, you could even give away your own product. And this means that you don't need to create a sort of some kind of giveaway or an ebook or anything like that, but you can just pick a product. You could, for example, if you could even, for example, go to amazon.com and pick a bestseller. And why a bestseller? Because a bestseller, you know, it's going to be in demand, right? Because what you want to give away as the contest price, you, you want to make sure that your audience wants to have it. 
right? And don't be silly. Don't go for, for example, oh, you're going to win an iPhone. I mean, that's not going to work. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're going to give away something that your target audience, your ideal customer, I mean, that's what we're all here for. We're growing our business. Your customer actually wants to have, right? So the best thing of doing a contest is that you don't need to give away something to all of your subscribers, to everyone who signs up, but you're just going to give give away one of those prizes, right? So this could, like I said, could be your own product. Uh, could be, for example, a consult consultation if you're in the B2B business. Um, <clears throat> So the, the, the overall, I was just, sorry, I was just reading the chat. I was just seeing if there's uh, any questions. So the uh, contests work really well, well um, and it's actually really easy to set up, like I already told you. So um, basically, I'll, I'll, share, I'll share a cool study, case study with you in a second, right? So on the actual opt-in page, you basically have a message in the line of enter to win. Obviously, not as simple as that. You, it's going to be more like, hey. Um, Let's give you a good example. Well, on this image, I actually got a T-shirt. So actually, a friend of mine, he's been doing a lot of T-shirt contests as well. So in that case, because it's a, it's a T-shirt, it's really just about the visual, right? So it's really just about having a big image on your opt-in page. But if you're doing, for example, uh, let me give you another example. Uh, recently, I talked with one of our customers. He um, he had a uh, he did a contest for uh, a, um, a travel a travel agency. And what they did was they actually gave away, and this was a bigger prize. They gave away a free trip. Uh, you could, you were able to win a free trip. So they just gave away their own product, basically. And they were able, within one week, they were able to uh, generate over seventeen thousand leads. So we actually have a case study about that on the inside of a viral. Um, but anyway, so you'll have your opt-in page, and you have a thank you page. And on your thank you page, what you're going to do is you're not just going to say, "Hey." Um, share this with your friends and you'll get an extra entry. You know, this is actually a good trick to that because this whole system works with, you know, the more friends that get to sign up, uh, the better of you are, right? So what you're going to do is, is you, if someone signs up, you're going to say, hey, now you have a one entry in the contest, but if you get one of your friends to sign up, you're going to get 20 extra entries in the contest. So now that you know they, they, they just signed up, they have one entry, and they know for every single friend that signed up, they're going to get 20 extra entries. So they know, like, right, if I get five people to sign up, then I have 100 extra entries. So for them, the value that they're going to get from them, like, it's a no-brainer, right? They want to share this. They want to share this. Now, um, so this is like a simplified format, right? So you run a contest, and you say, hey, sign up to win. Once they've signed up, they have one entry, and then you get them to share. Now, what do you do once you've set something like this up? I mean, you still need initial traffic, right? If you can set up this campaign, but if nobody is there to initially sign up, then you're still stuck. So you need to send traffic. Now, I actually talked to one of my customers, meet Matthew. His name is Matthew. And he had a really, really clever trick with that. So I wanted to share that with all of you because he actually did. He, 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 he just got access to a viral, and he had no audience. He did not have a website. And... You know, but he knew he wanted to do a contest, and he he knew the power of, of of this of this kind of viral loop. So he went on Amazon. He looked for the best seller product because you know if it's a best seller, you know it's going to be in demand. And he then created a contest. He set up the whole contest, the whole page, and all of that. Uh, but it didn't. He didn't start it yet. He just did it. You know, so that it looked good. He just showed, so he could actually take some screenshots from those uh, from the opt-in page. And he then reached out to various communities in the space. So various forums. There were some forums in that exact same niche in that exact same market. And he told them, "Hey, if you're going to put this odd this contest in front of your audience, I'm going to promote your product to that email list that I generate with that, right? So." It was a simple it was a simple deal. He said, "Hey, promote this contest to your audience, and every single person you know who's going to subscribe, I'm going to promote your product back, right?" And what he did really, really smart is he didn't just do that for one website. He actually did it for multiple websites. So he reached out to multiple forums and multiple communities, and he he told all of them the same thing. And once and once they all agreed to that and they started promoting this contest. Then what they did is from all those leads, they actually sent out an email with all those products from all those companies in one single email, which is awesome, right? So he had no existing audience. He then created the contest using a viral. He reached out to all those sites, you know, in that market, um, and then he then basically let uh, let the viral sharing do the rest. Now, what do you think? Let, let me just ask you: How many how many email subscribers do you think he got 
using this in the first month? Give me your number in the chat. Like, no audience to begin with. He uh, didn't have a website in that audience. He didn't. He didn't have anything. He just from from A to Z, he created the contest, reached out to his websites, and then uh, uh, using the viral mechanism, uh, people started sharing it. How many leads do you think he generated from that in his first month doing this? Fifteen hundred. 20K, 5,000, 50K, 50,000. Um, all right, <laughs> uh, 8,000. All right, now <laughs> let me just, you know what? I'm just gonna let him do the talking himself. Actually, I interviewed him a while ago. Uh, and let me just share, share the results. And you know, the thing is, Moko, I've been using, uh, I've always been doing contests probably for the last four or five years. And I've always seen the value in, in doing giveaways and contests for different things so and you know you had a lot of uh, uh you know i wasn't sure if it was hype or, or what at first but when i tried it out i found that it did exactly what i wanted uh so far it's worked very well and i like the the statistics that are it attracts and, and shows the, the proof of what i'm getting where before i'd see the entries but i i wouldn't understand uh, exactly why you know so so like, yeah a lot of good things about uh using your software so far man and what, what, how, can you give us an indication of how many leads or how many email addresses you've collected so far using a viral? Do you have any idea? So far, uh, so far we've got over 100,000. I was just looking at my stats. Uh, we're at 104,000. So that's email so, subscribers, um, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the actual leads we've collected. And, and uh, I've only run three, mainly three contests uh, over the last month. Insane. I mean... Every one of you, they, you, you, most of you guessed like 8,000, 20,000, et cetera. He got over 100,000 email subscribers in his first month without a website, without having existing traffic, without having anything, anything to begin with. He just got some, got, got his contest prize from Amazon, he reached out to his website, and he got over 100,000 email subscribers in a single month. I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're building your list using contests, you don't need a web, you don't need a website, you don't need a lead magnet, you don't even need existing traffic. And for me personally, like I've personally never seen an easier way to build up your email list this fast. I mean, I'm not sure about you, but I've never seen anything like this uh, without spending I don't know a million dollars or not not a million, but like a lot of money on Facebook ads or any kind of ads. Like I I wouldn't know of any other system or any other uh, mechanism that you can use to build up your email list this fast without having a website to begin with or an audience to begin with or even creating a lead magnet to, to begin with. And all of that, all, all, all because in a simplified format, you're doing exactly what you're seeing right here, right? So just getting people to sign up and once they sign up, then you're gonna give them an offer, you're gonna give them either a chance to win a prize or you're gonna give them a bribe. You're gonna say, hey, if you get if you get X amount of friends to sign up, you're gonna get X to X, Y, or Z. And all of that, just just doing that, turn it into a viral loop. I mean, could, can you see how this will work for you? By adding these kind of growth loops, I, I like to call them growth loops, into your business, you create an army of people desperate to promote your website. And, and you don't have to create a contest, right? I mean, for every business, it's different. Uh, for me personally, I'm doing a lot in the business-to-business -business, uh, space. For me, I like to do giveaways, where I actually give away certain coupon codes or rewards. Uh, for example, ebooks or a special training video, and I give that in, in return of you know if, if they actually start sharing it with their friends and actually get their friends to sign up. So you can use however you want. A contest works great for B two C business to consumer. Uh, giveaways work really well uh, in B two B business to business. I mean, can you see this how this works in your business, right? And you don't even have like you can if if at some point in your business you're asking for an email address on a sidebar on a webinar page or anything like that, you can just plug this into that opt-in form and get get all of those people start sharing it, you know, start promoting your website for you, right? So this is how this is how you do this is how you build a huge email list without using any paid ads. So first of all, looping, as I told you, by adding a viral loop to your thank you page. So you know which drives traffic back into your opt-in pages, right? By by getting your 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 audience to actually start sharing that with their friends. Then the multiplier by running easy split tests to multiply your list size immediately, as well as the um, the email follow-ups to start to make sure they actually start sharing it multiple times. And then 
for those who want to have who want to do all of this without an existing website or who want to do it without an existing lead magnet you can run contests which is the easiest way to build highly engaged email lists without creating a lead magnet now how many let me just ask you oops sorry my mistake for some reason it just went all to the end so how many of you feel like this right now <laughs> I mean I think quite a few of you right I mean uh, usually when I uh, when I when I talk uh, to, to people they usually tell me like the first time I, I speak to them I, they usually say that I um, talk way too fast <laughs> which is um, I guess it's true uh, but how many of how many of you feel a bit confused right now? I mean, obviously we covered a lot, and I hope I opened your eyes, you know, on, on what you can do to grow your business further. But I also know that for a lot of you, um, you you don't want to you don't want to have something vague or theories, but you want you want to get some you you, you want something that, that gets results, right? I mean, you're not here to just play around. You you're here um, to grow your business. Now, here's the thing, these three simple secrets that I just uh, just showed you, they're actually really easy to implement using a viral, which is the platform that I've already been talking about, right? So would it be okay if I spent a couple minutes to talk about a viral and a special package that we created? Give me a yes in the chat, because I always like to ask permission up front uh, so that I know that I provided enough value to you first before I can even start talking really about uh, about this platform that we created because you know i don't want to i don't want to be the guy who just you know pitches things whatever like i don't i don't like that uh but i but i do know that a lot of you are are going to want to see results instead of just you know being here for an hour seeing all this theory and seeing exactly how this works and then you know the next day you're not uh not anything to really implement it right so all right cool i already see yeses that's awesome thanks appreciate it actually really appreciate that um so yeah so we over the last couple of years, me and my team, we've been working on an online platform. It's an online tool called UpViral. And UpViral handles every aspect of, of these kind of viral campaigns. And my goal of our goal is to help everyone to spread the word and build huge YouTube email subscriber lists by adding these kind of viral loops into your business, right? And we made it so that it's super easy to set up uh, while well, you can also use it in any way you can imagine. So we call it, that's my way of saying it, it's the ultimate viral referral platform. It's an online uh, cloud-based software so you can just log in and there's nothing to install or anything like that and basically what it does in a simplified format this should be video that's not playing no, it's not playing that's fine uh, but uh, so uh, you using a file you you're able to create um, uh, the, the exact the exact things that I showed you right you're creating these kind of growth loops where you get people to sign up and then you you automatically get uh, they automatically get one of these unique invite links. So in a simplified format, what, what you can do is this is the the exact loop, right? People sign up, then they're going to get the invite link. We're going to keep track of that. We're going to automatically send out all the rewards and we select the winners. And then uh, you can also um, send all these kind of follow-up emails. Now, specifically, I want to run you by some of the things that we that it actually does. So it automatically track it automatically creates this kind of unique invite link for every single subscriber of your, yours right and we also automatically keep track how many of their friends actually visit and sign up and all of that we then automatically uh, send out all the rewards to them if they unlock something uh, whatever it's a coupon or downloadable file or anything like that uh, or if we pick the winners if you're running a contest you don't need there's nothing and all of these things are fully automated you don't have to worry about that at all uh, you're in full control of how it actually looks on social media obviously and you can connect it to any autoresponder, like, and I said when I say any, I mean, I mean any. So, if I, I don't think it's going to happen, but if one of you would uh, would actually see that, hey, your autoresponder is not part of a viral, then send me a message because we're going to add we're going to add that right away. But I'm pretty sure uh, we got them all covered, at least at the top 40, 50 ish. Uh, so it, it works with all, all autoresponders, and if yours magically is not on that list. Uh, let me know and we're going to add it right away so we may, we're going to make sure we may always make sure that every one of the subscribers of your campaigns automatically are added to your emails uh, autoresponder list and also if you have an autoresponder that allows tagging for the more that more advanced users you can automatically tag your subscribers as well so you know exactly who already unlocked a certain reward so you can then send out email promotions to your most loyal uh, subscribers we uh, it also comes with a, with a full uh, dashboard of all the analytics uh, and security as well. So if someone would 
actually try to trick the system by signing up themselves, we automatically detect that and we're going to block them from actually signing up, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you're going to get, uh, you, it also takes care of all the split testing, as I already showed you, really easy to set up, as well as all the email follow-ups. And the best thing is, and I think that's really my favorite part, is that you can you can use our templates, you know, you can set everything up at our, web, uh, at our system. You don't need to have your own website, for example, but you can also add this into your existing website. So it doesn't matter whether it's ClickFunnels, lead pages, WordPress, Instapage, whatever system you're using, you can just copy paste two lines of codes and you can have this all into your own website, which I think is pretty awesome, right? So that's really, so you, that means that you can use it any way you want. You can just use it on our platform or you can just use it inside your own existing funnels and your existing website. So what you're going to get today is you're going to get unlimited giveaways. So you're going to get, a, you can get an account where you can get unlimited giveaways. No limit to that. You can run unlimited contests. You can also collect unlimited email subscribers. And you can run unlimited split test, split test. And like I said, you can run everything on our platform. All the all the templates are included, or you can add it into your own website, and you get everything in one simple dashboard to manage everything. And we take care of all, like you just set it up, and we take care of the rest. So um, I actually want to go through some of the results that some of our customers have been getting. So for example, Troy, he he only uh, he he used a variable and he tipped over two hundred and eight thousand subscribers using a viral. I mean, 208,000 subscribers using a viral. And he said that it literally changed his life. Michael, Michael Coach, he said that he would build a responsive 30,000 email list in a brand new market in less than six months. And Travis used it to collect well over 15,000 leads using a viral. And Paul, he used it for a B2B business, business to business event. And he got more than 9,000 leads for a business to business local event for, for a Congress he was doing. Uh, tr using a viral in two weeks time, which is pretty awesome. And also, and I think this one is actually pretty cool as well. A while ago, I actually saw Snapchat where Russell Brunson, he's a, I'm not sure if you know him, but he's an online marketer and a really awesome dude in general as well. And he's actually been using a viral as well. So actually, let me just see what happened to Snap Funnels throughout the night. It's going to be good, it could be bad. We have no idea. What do you think it's going to be good or bad? Mm, I think pretty good. I think pretty good. Here's the metric so far. All right, we got 203 people that have gotten their reward back. 3,300 people have looked at it. We have uh, 727 shares. Interesting, John. I guess you can So, like, it only says 173 Facebook shares, but there's 727. So, we got a lot of other kind of shares. Check yeah. it out. Twitter, LinkedIn. It's growing. So even even Russell Bronson has been using it to grow his business. So that's what that's what you're all gonna get, right? If you're gonna sign up with a viral, you're gonna get all these results as well. But let's talk about what you don't need anymore because I think that's equally as important, right? I mean, right now you might be you might be spending uh, quite a bit of time or money to create your opt-in page. I mean, for me personally, before I use these kind of tools, I had to actually hire a designer and it costed me like 400 500 dollars let's let's call it 400 dollars for every single page to get a page to design now you don't need that anymore because with a viral all the templates are included now you don't need to create any uh, any lead magnets or free reports anymore right because now you can just run a contest so that's going to save you well for me i i look at i looked it up in my um in my past i usually uh, Roughly, I spend around three hundred dollars for every lead magnet that I get that I that someone's going to write for me. So you don't have to spend that anymore. You don't have to spend a lot of money on, for example, split testing and all, uh, and all these kind of tools. I mean, it's all included with a viral. You can just use our opt-in pages. You can use our split testing. You can use our email follow-up. Like all of that is included with a viral. So you don't need that that anymore. And more importantly, maybe you don't need to wait around to get started in a new niche. I mean, you can just get a product from Amazon, start a contest right now. You don't need to first create a lead magnet. You can just get started in various niches right now. So just the opportunity of not having to wait for you know to enter a new niche. I think I can. I couldn't even put a money tag on that, but that's something that um, you don't have to. Uh, you don't need to do anymore. So and also all the wasted traffic and subscribers because if right now you're gonna you're already getting subscribers into your business and you're not implementing this then you're wasting traffic and subscribers because all of these people who currently sign up could have been some uh, could have been people who are desperately to desperate to promote your side and business to their friends, right? So that's also not something I can really put a price tag on because it depends on your business how many leads you're currently getting, but at least the total savings would be not $1,950 a month 
at the minimum, right? Just so, because you don't have to hire a design, you don't have to create a lead make, you don't have to actually, you know, use all these different tools to split test and all of that. And most importantly, you don't have to wait around to get started in a niche and you can, um, you don't, and, uh, and now you don't have to waste all the traffic and subscribers that you're missing out if you're not using this. Now, once you have this, you're gonna be able to run viral giveaways, you're gonna be able to run viral contests, and you're gonna be able to run viral product launch. Like how, however you wanna use it, you can. And what you're gonna to get today is a one year of viral pro account. So as I just showed you, it's a $1,950 value, and that's what you're gonna get. Now, I'm assuming that if, if you're watching this, and like, all right, you're thinking like, how can I take advantage of this? Like, how do I really implement this into my business, right? That that's a, That's a good question, actually. And for that reason, we created the Viral Foundation course. That's an intensive uh, intro on how you can leverage this whole viral system, this whole viral marketing to build and grow your business. So that's what you're gonna get inside the Viral Foundation course, which you're also gonna get today. So uh, the next question is that you, what you could have is, will they share it? Like, you know, you have an idea, but are people actually gonna share for that, right? Will they actually do that? Well. That's what we're gonna cover in the Psychology Hacks course. So in this course, you're gonna learn exactly why people share the things online and, and how you can actually influence that, how you can do implement smart triggers to make sure people are not gonna be able to resist your offer and they wanna share uh, your offer with all of the friends. So you're gonna get the one year viral pro account, you're gonna get the viral foundation course, and you're gonna get the psychology hacking course as well. So next question you might have is, all right, well, what should I put in my pages? Like, what do I actually write down, right? Now, that's what you're gonna get inside our viral campaign course. So in that course, you're gonna get all the proven campaign hacks and strategies that have already brought in a ton of traffic and profits for other users. And if you just follow these step by step, and then you'll be good. So that's what you're gonna get inside the viral campaign course. So you're gonna get the viral pro account, viral foundation course, the psychology hacking course, and the viral campaign course all together you're gonna to get that if you're gonna uh, for today now next question you might have is what email should i send i mean I, I think i just saw someone asking like hey what are you actually putting those emails well for that we actually created the email follow-up recipe course so in that course you i'm going to show you exactly what you're going to put inside those email sequences to make sure people are going to be sharing like <laughs> I don't know, like what, but like <laughs> like crazy, basically. So uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what uh, what we've learned and how we can actually make sure to make those emails as effective as you can possibly can to make sure people are gonna want to share that. So you're gonna get that as well. And now, finally, what about traffic? What do you, like, how do you get people to start signing up, right? I mean, that's a good question. Now, for that reason, we have the Traffic Mastery course. So in this course, we're gonna cover the most innovative ways to generate that initial search of traffic that you need in order to get to get your viral campaign to take off. And this is not gonna be like the old school stuff or uh, whatever, but this is all gonna be like what I'm currently using in my business and what I highly recommend you to do as well. So that's what you're gonna get inside the Traffic ha uh, traffic Mastery course. So all together, you're gonna get the one year of Viral Pro account, you're gonna get the Viral course, you're gonna get the Security Hacking course, you're gonna get the Viral Campaign course, the Email Follow-up Recipe course, and the Traffic Mastery course. So that's pretty awesome, right? Now finally, I also wanted to, uh, wanted to add in one final part, which is the split test and optimization course, because I think it's really important that you know exactly what to split test. I already showed you how easy it is to split test, right? And in this course, I'm gonna show you what you should actually split test. So you don't have to guess, right? You don't have to think about, all right, now I, I, know, I know I need to split test, but what do I actually split test? I'm gonna tell you all about that inside the split test and optimization course, which you're gonna get today as well. So all together, you're gonna get the one year viral pro account, you're gonna get the viral foundation course, our psychology hacking course, the viral campaign course, the email follow up recipe course, the traffic mastery course, and the split test optimization course. All together, total value of more than $3,000, right? Now, let me let me ask you a question actually. So if all it did, if all like all of this, this whole package, if all it did was to finally stop being dependent on a single traffic source, would it be worth it? Like. If you if you'd spend three thousand dollars and you would not be depending on a single traffic source, but now you're gonna have all these people spreading it for you, would it be worth it? Well, I think it would, right? Now, what if you would add another ten thousand new subscribers every single month to your business? Would, would it be worth it to spend three thousand dollars now 
and then you get 10,000 new subscribers every single month into your business. I mean, could even be 100,000 or even 200,000 subscribers. We've seen those examples as well, but let's just say it's just, it's just 10,000 new subscribers every single month. Would it be worth it? Well, I think, I think it would, but I cannot make that decision for you, but I think it would. And what, what, what if you would get, what if all it did was get you a ton of extra exposure through word of mouth to places that you would otherwise never reach? Would it be worth it? Uh, once again, I think I think it did, but um, I, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave that up to you, of course. Now, if if I I basically had two choices, right? When I put this all together, I had two choices. I could either go as cheap as possible and try to sell as many of these as possible, but it wouldn't really incentivize me to really stack the value, right? Or I could you know it could go for the second option, which requires a little higher investment from your end. But in exchange, I can devote I can devote more resources to guarantee your success, to make a viral the best and the best and the best in the business, to keep adding more features uh, to it, et cetera, et cetera. And that's really what I did. What I did, right? I didn't want to I didn't want to go cheap. I wanted to make I wanted to make sure this is the best platform in the world. Um, but like I said, it's going to require a little higher investment from your end. But that's I think the best the best kind of decision I could have made, uh, and that's the one I actually made. Now. Altogether, what's one viral campaign worth to you? Like, let's say it would bring in just 5,000 extra subscribers into your business. Even let's say just 5,000, right? Seriously, in your business right now, think about it. 5,000 extra subscribers every single month. How much would that be worth to you? Is that like 5,000 extra a month? Or maybe 10,000, depending on which business you're in. And remember, like 5,000 extra subscribers means that month number two, it's 10,000 and then 15,000, 20,000, et cetera, right? It, it keeps on going. What would that be? worth to you if, if you would add one viral campaign to your business i mean i think you can you can you're gonna you're gonna probably agree with me that it's a pretty good deal at 497 dollars a year right i mean i i think it's a good deal if i would 